Section 9.1 Estimating a Population Proportion Less Injective Construct and interpret a confidence interval for the population proportion using technology. We will use Minitab and StatCrunch. Less Injective If you recall our example for the university poll that asked 1,783 registered voters nationwide whether they favored or opposed the death penalty for persons convicted of murder. 1,123 were in favor. Obtain a 90% confidence interval for the proportion of registered voters nationwide who are in favor of the death penalty for persons convicted of murder. Here we are in Minitab. To construct the 90% confidence interval for the population proportion, we go to Stat, Basic Statistics, One Proportion. We have Summarized Data, so we click Summarize Data. Number of events is X, 1023. Number of trials is N, that's 1783. We go to options, change 95 to 90, and we want to click this. Use test and interval based upon normal distribution. If we don't click this, Minitab uses what's called the binomial, which may give different results. We hit OK. We hit OK again. And in the session window, Minitab has calculated the 90% confidence interval. Here we are in StatCrunch. To compute the 90% confidence interval for the population proportion, we go to stat proportions one sample with summary number of successes is X which was 1123 number of observations is N that's 1783 we click next change it to a confidence interval. We want a 90, so we change 95 to a 90, and then we hit calculate. Here's our lower limit, here's our upper limit. Using the TI-84 calculator, we go to stat using the right arrow key we want to go to test scrolling down looking for one proportion Z interval which is A hit enter for X we type in 1123 for N we type in 1783 for our confidence level we want 90 percent so we change this to 0 0.90 then we hit calculate this is our lower limit this is our upper limit of the confidence interval this is p hat of course this is n So to interpret our confidence interval, we would say we are 90% confident that the true population proportion of registered voters who are in favor of the death penalty for those convicted of murder is between 0 0.61 and 0 0.65. We could also say we are 90% confident that the true population percentage of registered voters who are in favor of the death penalty for those convicted of murder is between 61% and 65%. Let's look at another example. 
if you recall the superstition example from the last video a USA Today Gallup poll conducted in February 9 through the 11th 2007 asked 1006 adult Americans how much would it bother them to stay in a room on a 13th floor of a hotel interestingly 13 percent said it would bother them construct and interpret a 95 percent confidence interval now the first thing that we have to do before we can use Minitab or StatCrunch is we have to express this 13 percent as x over n we know n 1006 we don't know x so we have to compute x using p hat so if we look at the formula p hat is x over n if we substitute what we know p hat is 0.13 we know n is 1006 we have an equation where we can figure out x so the easiest way to compute x is to multiply both sides of the equation by 1006 and if we do that these cancel we're left with x and 13 percent of 1006 is 130.78 which rounded off is 131 so our x is 131 our n is 1006 here we are in Minitab the way you construct the 95 percent confidence interval for the population proportion again we go to stat basic statistics one proportion click summarize data we calculate x to be 131 number of trials is in 1006 don't forget to hit options and choose use tests and interval based upon normal distribution hit OK hit OK again and in the session window Minitab has computed the 95 percent confidence interval here we are in StatCrunch again we go to stat proportions one sample a summary number of successes is X we computed that to be 131 number of observations is in 1006 we hit next change it to confidence interval 95 is what we want hit calculate here's our lower limit here's our upper limit using the TI-84 calculator we go to stat use our right arrow key to test scroll down for A and A is one proportion Z interval hit enter change X to 131 N is 1006 our confidence level is 95 percent so we just go to calculate here's our lower limit here's our upper limit and this is P hat So to interpret our confidence interval, we would say we are 95% confident that the true population proportion of adults that it would bother them to stay on the 13th floor of a hotel is between 0 0.110 and 0 0.151. Another way we could say that is we are 95% confident that the true population percentage of adults that it would bother them to stay on the 13th floor of a hotel is between 11% and 15.1%. Here's the readings and suggested problems from the text. Thanks for watching.